a uniform rod PQ and it's got weight 18 newtons so it comes straight from the middle 18 newtons uh, rest against a vertical rough vertical wall so this will have a friction going up here and normal contact force going in there particle weight 3 newtons is attached there uh, was held in a horizontal position by a light inextensible string attached to Q so that therefore will have tension going up there and theta sine theta is three fifths so that will also tell me that cos theta is four fifths three four five triangle find the tension the string i've got to find this and therefore i don't know if, so i'm going to take moments about p moments about p and i have the anti-clockwise moments equals clockwise moments because it's not spinning and i don't know this distance here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to split this tension up into a vertical force and a horizontal force and that'll be t sine theta and this one here will be t cos theta okay so back on it again so we've got to do moments so it's a force times a distance so anti-clockwise so it'll just be that t sine theta so it'll be t times by sine theta which is three fifths times by the distance away and that's 20 centimeters and i can work in 20 in uh, centimeters because i could have just times by 100 at the end to get to centimeters and all i've got here i've got that three times by six centimeters and plus just that 18 times by 10 and that will give me that t equals 16.5 newtons for the first part part two till up here find the magnitude of the force exerted by the wall so the magnitude so i've got to find the two components got to find out what f is and i've got to find out what r what i'm going to resolve horizontally to start off with and that will say that r equals t cos theta so 16.5 cos uh, cos theta so r will equal 16.5 times by cos theta is four fifths and that equals 13.2 newtons then i'm going to resolve upwards and i'm going to get uh, f goes upwards oh it's going to be an f plus this t sine theta so that will be 16.5 times by sine theta which is three fifths and that will equal the two forces which go down the three and the 18 so three plus 18 and that says that f will equal 21 minus that which is 11.1 .1. so now i know what f is i know what r is and so the magnitude equals um 11.1 squared plus 13.2 squared square root of that which is 17.24673882 or 17.2 newtons to three significant figures so that does so part two and find the coefficient of friction uh, uh, f equals mu r so mu equals f over r which equals 11.1 .1 over 13.2 which equals 0 0.8 or if you want exactly 37 over 44 and uh, that's question four done